Right, hello and welcome back to Armored Core. So, let's listen to these briefings, see what we've got here. Got a job for you, 621. This one's from the Archivist Group. Raven, this request comes from our affiliate, Schneider. First, I'll brief you on the state of conflict between Archivist and Balaam at Watchpoint Alpha. The Watchpoint's defenses inflicted heavy losses on Balaam's initial wave, with many deserting. More recently, they've engaged with our forces only to continue their downward spiral. Despite this, the Red Gun's commander, Gun 1 Michigan, remains alive and well. With his AC Liger tail being ready to lead the surviving Balaam MT Fords as we speak. We want you to intercept them to hammer the final nail into Balaam's coffin. Should you decline, we have V4 lined up to take over. This concludes the briefing, awaiting your favorable reply. Right, or oh, we have straight to the point. Archibus leads the corporate forces, emboldened by assimilated PCA technology. But they're still human, tired from the endless conflict between powers. Open to an attack on their key forces. We want you to eliminate two of the Vesper's numbered officers. V-5 Hawkins. Their officer overseeing the transport corps. V8 Pater, his adjutant. We'll use false information to lure them out from their depth 2 survey, then ambush them. I will assist you on this mission. It'll be a good opportunity to catch up with a veteran. I look forward to your favorable response, Raven. Okay. Right. So those are our options. Out of curiosity in the arena, I'm sure we've beaten Hawkins and... Um, yeah, so Flatwell's down here. Um, there's Peter. And there's Hawkins. Okay, I think both of those just got absolutely dominated by me just running in with tank treads, so that might be something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, it's Snail, the one we've not beaten yet, out of them. Oh, Michigan's apparently one of the best. <laughs> so he's apparently super hard. Um... Okay. In that case. So if we wanted to get some practicing against them, we could do so there. Um, I guess coming from a cold, hard, mercenary point of view, there's arguments for both of these. This one pays more. But you would be eliminating one group so that there's only one group left. By ambushing the Vespers, you maintain a balance of power, meaning that there's more work going forwards. Because if Archibus, if all their enemies are defeated, then what need is there for a mercenary? So there's an argument for that, even though it does pay over twice as much. Plus, we did help Rubicon, uh, the Rubicon Liberation Front last time, so just for consistency's sake in the ending that we get, I suppose we should probably just ambush the Vespers. Um, we'll try this build. If it doesn't work, we know that the tank will probably do it. Main 
system. Activating combat mode. The good news though is that Rusty won't be here. This will be a joint operation with Metal Flatwell, the Liberation Front commander. They're coming, Raven. Whenever the moment is right. So yeah, Rusty will be out defeating Balaam. What could this emergency call from V2 be about, sir? That's just snail being snail, my boy. He loves to send his minions running. Sir, there will be... Look, sir. That's not V2. No, looks like we've got rats instead. Peter, open fire. Right. Wait, I wasn't supposed to jump in? <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. What's he saying? This was supposed to be an ambush, you fool. But we did, we jumped down from above and ambushed them. What? <laughs> Am I supposed to wait for something? Yeah, the objective just says, defeat. What could this emergency call from V2 be about, sir? That's just snail being snail, my boy. He loves to send his minions running. Sir, there will be trouble if he hears that kind of talk. Targets confirmed. The Tetrapod is piloted by V5 Hawkins. V8 Pater has the reverse joint AC. Those are our two numbered Vespers. Ready when you are, Raven. Right, so he got annoyed that I went in a half minute before, well, Me about 20 be seconds delayed. beforehand. Classic snail, son. Love to keep people waiting. Just humor him. Understood, sir. Boop. Oh, sir. That's not me, too. No, looks like we've got rats instead. Missiles in. Oh, he's a fast one. Right, this one's nearly gone. Ow. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realise my health had got that low. <laughs> Did not notice. Oh, I have to wait for all that bit at the start then. So that's be trouble if he hears that kind of talk. Targets confirmed. The Tetrapod is piloted by V5 Hawkins. V8 Pater has the reverse joint AC. Those are our two numbered Vespers. Ready when you are, Raven. Peter is nearly gone. It's a 
shielded and is easy repair thing I think. Yeah. That should probably do it though. There we go. <coughs> and this one. Right, crazy lady voice in my head will probably be happy about that. <laughs> Made a whole small amount of cash. <laughs> Right. I believe we unlocked a new car. Where are we? Here we are. Um. Well, it's not bad. It's got a high end load. So it's a bit. Hmm. Not great there, but its weight's pretty good compared to our current one. So if we need to lose some weight at some point, that might be an option. Um, might be all right for its weight class, but yeah, if we can take the heftier one, we're taking the heftier one. Right, missions. What have we got? Uh, head deep into unknown territory, find the coral convergence. Eliminate your pursuer. I have a pursuer. <laughs> I have a stalker. Do I? I understand you just killed two of our guys, but <laughs> would you like a job? Orders for Raven, advanced survey squad. We've received some concerning information that an AC has been quietly following your trail. Archibus cannot tolerate unauthorized surveys that will put its coral interests at risk. If you spot this rogue agent, eliminate them. Where there's coral, there's 
blood. Remember that, 621. Right. Hmm. Good question. Who could be following? Maybe it's that guy from Balaam again. Back for round two. Um. Am I right in guessing that it wants me to go down this way? Yes. Right. Well, down we go then. No stalker sighted just yet. Stars away. New part, it looks like. Pods for the mealworms. Looks like they're out of commission now. Raiden, I'm reading something behind us. It's getting closer. It'd be cool if you could actually, like, end up seeing it. Darting around, but... No. Oh well. Go deal with a mercenary who went in alone, they said. <laughs> Figures. <coughs> Seems both of us are too dangerous to keep around. And the higher ups wouldn't miss an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. Well, it's your move, Rusty. Right to screw over the Archivist group. Yeah, I've beaten this guy in the arena, so. <laughs> Again, his health bar just keeps going from zero to full because of these things, but okay, sure. Yeah, 
pretty easy to figure out. I have massive amounts of minigun fire and some rockets. And then I just circle around while shooting that. It's not the most in-depth strategies. Right. I think between the last mission and this mission, that's a declaration of war from Archibus. Who knows? Maybe Bale won't be happy with me at this point since I've killed off three of the Vespers. Well, I don't think he's dead, but his mech's not really going to be much use from this point on. I'll have to get fixed so he'll be out of it for a while. behind and then see if there's something there but we kind of just slid right I think at this point, whatever we do, just do whatever the Archivist group don't want us to do, and we're probably gone on a good track. Right. Looking good. Right, so it sounds like he's ex Institute. I'm wondering if he wouldn't if he knew that Professor Nagy person we keep finding logs from. Maybe so. Right. Ooh. Better more or less everything apart from Ooh, bad kinetic defence though. That could be bad. Um Plus, I don't think it looks as cool.
but I'm good with mine. What have we got then for a sortie? Concludes the chapter. <coughs> okay. I think we'll be doing that next time. I think for now we might just do some arena stuff to finish on. I bet it won't be long when we've finished this. Right. <coughs> yeah. Let's smash through the arena. And we'll see if we can conclude the chapter next time. I bet it's maybe that and another couple missions and we're Arena probably done. I'm wondering seven. if that's even going to be the last mission. Subject AC, deep down. Call sign, gun to Nile. Commencing evaluation. Main system. Activating combat mode. Aim assist on. Flight mode on. Get those hits in there though, and you get him stunned. Boom. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Right. Ooh, snail next. Right, so this guy's like the leader of the Vespers or something. Oh no, is he? Well, he was commander on that uh, Ice Worm mission, so he's definitely high up there. <coughs> Evaluation program number six, rank A. Oh, he's got the rocket punch uh, blade, hasn't he? And a handgun. Subject AC, open faith. Call sign B2 Snail. God, that head on it is dirty. Main system activating combat mode. There he is. Ooh, he's not all that fast. Missiles could get him easy enough. Ow! But apparently he can fly up and rocket. I can do that as well. <laughs> if you time it right and you get yourself in the animation as they're attacking you, you can almost use the pulse arm as like a active parry almost. Which is quite interesting. Right. We're getting a decent amount of it now. Yeah. Getting a decent amount of those chips at this point. 
No, that's the direct hit damage, isn't it? So that's for staggered enemies. We can level that up a tad. Then we'll get it all poured into uh, damage and just beating the snot out of them. <laughs> Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number five, rank A. Subject AC, Umber Ox. Call sign, Chartreuse. Commencing evaluation. System activating combat mode. Ooh. Tank one then, eh? Usually you need to be a tank to be a tank, but we'll see. It's flying though, that's interesting. And it took a hell of a beating then. the overheat to wear off. There goes that guy. Target destroyed. <laughs> Concluding evaluation. Well done. Right. Another easy one. Wow, we're nearly through the rank A's already. <laughs> Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number four, rank A. Final evaluation. Subject AC, a streak. Call sign, Thumb Dolmayan. Founder of the Liberation Front, then. Main system, activating combat mode. It's hard. This concludes a rank evaluation. Only the best of the best remain. Right. So we've got S ranks. We will get to fight Michigan then. <laughs> right. Do, 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 do. Just looking at King here. So he's a, a hacktivist collective active in Rubicon system. Uh, King is said to have confounded 
an entire fleet of heavy warships in a solo uh, diversionary manoeuvre during the attack on Station 31. Branch is made up of a rotating group of four people and King is believed to be the oldest of the current roster. Hmm. Michigan, leader of the uh, Balaam group. And then we have Freud, so commander of the Vespers, the Archibus group. So yeah, these are the people we talk to when we're taking missions from them. So that should be interesting. Right, I think we'll continue that on next time. So we'll finish off the S ranks and then we'll go on that mission. In the meantime, before I forget to spend them, there we are. Now when we stagger something, we hit for 15% bonus damage, combined with our already upgraded damage by 12% on both our explosive and kinetic weapons, our miniguns and our um, missile launchers. Um, I guess if we have some to spare, we might as well pick up some of these abilities. Maybe the weight control, manual aiming, possibly boost kick. Um, that's if we have any left. Um, and then put whatever we have left into probably uh, damage mitigation. Um, seems good to me. So just, yeah, pick up the abilities. And then yeah, it will be fairly cheap to get a bit of damage mitigation, whereas to get the last bits of uh, damage we could get it will cost 14, which is ridiculous. I mean, how many are we going to stand to get here? Okay, about 18 or so. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that will be half of them. Um, and then yeah, just put it into damage uh, deflection. If I've got anything left, right. Seems good to me. Anyway, that's what we'll be doing next time, and I will see you then.